Welcome, Eat Clean for a New You Nation. I am so excited today. Today I'm gonna show you how any amateur can make quick and easy eat clean meals using a rotisserie chicken. Now, what's awesome about this is you don't even have to know how to cook. You can go to a wholesale store. We all have those in our neighborhood. I'm gonna name them, okay? You know, you can go to Sam's or Costco and you can pick up the three chickens and I am going to show you quick and easy meal prep meals that you can make with this chicken. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by taking the chicken and we're going to cut it up. Now often the chicken is gonna have like a string wrapped around it because they have to tie this little puppy together. So we're gonna attach that string. And then what I like to do is I'll take the legs off. Of course y'all know y'all washed y'all hands when y'all came to the kitchen, right? Mama always said wash your hands. Okay. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is take that chicken and we're gonna cut it up into some pieces. This is awesome because the chicken is already well seasoned. It is completely ready, you bring it in and all you have to do is just cut it up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut, I like to get all of the breast meat first. And then later on, I can show you in another up and coming video how you cannot waste the body of the chicken. We don't waste anything, okay, in our Eat Clean kitchen. We actually even can take the bone and I'll show you how to make some amazing broth that you can use for your holiday cooking or whenever. So we're cutting this chicken away from the bone. It comes off easy. Some of it's kind of stuck there. Alrighty. And we're gonna just set this aside for now. And once we get the chicken cut up like so, because we're gonna make three different meals, what I would like to do is I would divide the chicken to three segments because we're gonna make three different meals. So we take it into three different parts. And what's amazing, what I have learned since I've been eating clean is that you really don't need to eat as much meat as you think that you need. And you're gonna see because we're gonna add in several vegetables. So we divided that into three sections because we're gonna have three meals. Push that aside like that. And we're gonna start with the first one. So the first one that we're gonna do is we're going to make a chicken salad. Very simple, but very delicious. A great meal that you can take to work or you can just have quick on the go. You know, very, very simple. I love to buy these organic baby spring mix because this keeps me conscious about eating my greens. This keeps me very conscious about eating my greens on a regular basis because whenever I have this, it just makes me accountable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a handful of baby greens and I love it because you've got kale, you've got spinach, arugula. There's a lots of different greens in there. And we're gonna put a handful of greens in the bowl Maybe a little more. I love too that the fact that they put the colors in there. You've got the dark purples mixed with the green. So we're gonna put the salad in there. And then I would take some grape tomatoes. And I would put some grape tomatoes in there. And I previously cut up some red onions. I love red onions. It's something about the bite that red onions gives to a salad. And I got a tip for you. If you don't like the hot, some people think, oh my goodness, red onions are so hot. You can actually soak these in cold water before you put them in the salad and it'll take away that um, smell, that strong fragrance aroma that it gives our breath. <laughs> so that's just something that you might want to do so that you can still enjoy the, the nutrition that you get from the red onion, but not worry about having such a pungent smell coming afterwards. And then I think I'd like to add a little bit of cucumber. So I'm gonna slice a little bit of cucumber off like so. You know, some people like to decorate their cucumber and cut the outside and I wanna keep all that fiber. So we're just gonna put all in there. Just take one slice, do it in there like so. You could put some carrot. I love this little kitchen gadget, it's wonderful. For a quick slice. 
course, you know, wash all your vegetables before you use them. Slice that peel completely off of there. I am all about the colors. You know, I often say, as you see on my website, eat your colors because we get so much vitamins and nutrients from our colors. So we're just going to take and shred a little bit of carrots. I have learned to shred carrots actually in place of where I would often put a lot of cheese. You know, sometimes it's just tricking the mind and the body will follow. So I'll use carrots often in place of that shred of cheese and equally delicious. And guess what? Carrots are actually wonderfully sweet. So we've got some carrots on there, cucumber. And you know what? I just need one more pop of color. So what I'm going to do is put this out of the way. Put a little bit of red cabbage. I also am curious why they call it red cabbage. I don't know what color it is to you, but to me it looks quite purple. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna put some red cabbage in there because I just love the crunch that it adds to a salad, as well as the vibrancy of color. Oh, it's everything. It just brings life to my salad. So I'm gonna chop up a little bit of that, throw it in there. And then we're gonna take a little bit of this chicken. We actually put too much chicken on this side. And Voila, we got meal number one. One and done. So there's your salad. And what I would add, what I would add to the salad is I traditionally would use, I would mix some balsamic vinegar with a little bit of olive oil as my dressing. You might want to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on there if that is a clean salad. So we got meal number one. Right. For meal number two, with our rotisserie chicken, which we already have sliced, we're going to make a chicken stir fry. So I have some vegetables that I found already in the refrigerator that need to be used. And what I love about these stir fries, you can use whatever you have on hand. You do not have to go out to the store and buy anything special. So if you want to do carrots, you want to do zucchini, you want to do spinach, it does not matter. Whatever you have available, that's what makes them so awesome. Another thing that makes them really awesome is the fact that, um, you can get so many vegetables at one time. So you pack in a powerful punch of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients all in one setting. So for this particular stir fry, I like to use red bell pepper because I have some available that I need to use up. So we're gonna have some red bell pepper, which is gonna bring a nice sweet essence to our stir fry. And we're gonna cut this into pieces. And then we're going to put a little bit more red bell pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of green because remember, I'm always saying eat your colors. So we're going to add some green bell pepper. I just love the crunchiness of these peppers. They're also excellent as a treat raw with some hummus. They're just a nice, delicious, cool treat. So we got some red pepper, we got some green pepper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut extra vegetables so that we'll already have them cut for our third meal. And again, depending on the size of your family, how many people you're serving, you can cut more or less vegetables. It depends on how many are. But I do love to go for color when I can. Color variety. Okay. Green. Next, we're gonna cut up some onion. Onion always adds something wonderful to a stir fry. Doesn't matter which onion that you use. For today, I'm just using a, just a yellow onion. It depends on your preference. If you prefer red onions, or if you prefer white onion, or sweet white dahlia, depending on the season, you can use whichever type of onion that you like. This. 
And again, like I said, if there's something that I might be using that you may not have an acquired taste for, hey, make it your own. Put your own flavor flavor in there, okay? Because this is your food. I'm just showing you how to make it clean. Okay, so we got our onion. We got our bell pepper. And now, a little cheat here. I had roasted some carrots previously. So, I'm just gonna use the roasted carrots that I already had in the refrigerator. I'm just gonna cut those up. Roasted carrots are so delicious. All you do is just take the carrots, add a little bit of oil, seasoning of your choice. I do a little bit of brown pepper. Depends on whether I want it savory or spicy. Sometimes I'll do cayenne pepper. I'm, I'm a big fan of cumin, but anyway, you just put it in a 400 degree oven, a little bit of olive oil, grapeseed oil, any neutral oil, and just let it go. About 20 minutes, check on it every five to seven minutes and you got nice, wonderful roasted vegetables. So we got roasted carrots. So look at the color, look at that. All right, wonderful. The last vegetable that I would like to use is we're gonna do some broccoli. And I previously had some broccoli in the refrigerator. So we're going to cut up a little bit of broccoli because broccoli is just always wonderful in a stir fry. Okay. That's why it's nice to keep, um, if you get the vegetables as soon as you get them, if you can, can take them and go ahead and Cut some of them up and put them inside of a glass bowl with the top on it, and you can keep them. It'll keep for a while. Sometimes it keeps a lot longer when you take it out of the bag. Okay, so I'm gonna put the top on that, and we got our vegetables cut up. Okay, what this is, in case you're wondering, this is ground ginger. Ginger is an amazing food. I use it in a lot of my Asian and a lot of my Indian cooking. It brings a lot of spice and flavor to your food. It's a little bit spicy, so you can use it in moderation depending upon your taste. So we peel that skin off like so. And then we're gonna take my little Slice it into the bowl. I'm not gonna use the whole thing because again, it's very spicy. And that bowl, go ahead. Just the bowl. Sometimes it comes out on the other side. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some ginger. I like ginger, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. But again, it's my base. So there we have the ginger. Okay. And finally, we're going to put the ginger in there. We're going to cut up some garlic. Onion, red onion, sorry. I'm gonna cut up some green onions. I like to top my stir fry with green onions. And I often like to cut them down to about right there. I don't often cut them all the way. So, green onion. Make sure it's cut all the way through. And finally, we got some garlic. This is where all the flavor is. When I was saying, um, on a previous video, you can go back and watch the video, Eat Clean, what Eat Clean is. What Eat Clean is, I was saying that, um, I like to use a lot of natural herbs and spices versus relying on the standard, you know, just salt all the time. Garlic brings so much flavor as well as ginger. I tell my family all the time, those are two items that I cannot hardly cook without. I need my garlic and I need my ginger. 
because they really add something to the food. So we're going to take these garlic out of the skin. And we're going to be using the garlic press because when you press garlic, you get the most flavor. We're not ready for that yet, so we're just gonna set that aside. Right there. Let's get a couple more out for the next one. So we're gonna get ready for meal number three. We won't even have to come back and do this again. <laughs> Sometimes with the garlic, it can be a little messy with all the peels, but we just keep it going because it is worth it for not only the flavor, but there's so many benefits that come from ginger. I'm excuse me, ginger and garlic. So it is worth putting it into your food. Just peel a couple more of these. Now we are ready to stir fry up this deliciousness. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start off with, we're gonna scramble an egg. Every good stir fry has scrambled egg. I am only using one egg. Because I am not a super fan <laughs> of eggs, but I do appreciate what they do in the recipe, so I'm gonna put some egg. So you're just gonna whisk that up. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. I'm using sesame oil. scrambled up and on the side ready. What we're gonna do is, as we're heating up our oil, I love my enamel cast iron skillet, favorite utensil. We'll put a little bit more oil because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put the vegetables in. See, the chicken is already done. So there is a method to my madness. So we're gonna let this get a little bit warmer and what the order that we're gonna do this in is we're gonna put the onions first we're gonna put the carrots last, because remember they're already roasted, so we don't want to cook them at all. So we're gonna go with the onions, then we're gonna do the bell peppers, and I always put my garlic cloves in last because they will burn, so I always put them in last. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our half of the onion, because remember we're gonna make another recipe with the other half. So put a little bit of the onion. So we put in our onion, we put our onion inside of our sesame oil. I'm using sesame oil, which is a very good plant-based oil. We're gonna add half of the bell pepper, half green, half red. I'm gonna give that a little stir. I don't like to cook the vegetables real hard because I like for them to retain their vitamins and minerals. So we're going to go ahead and add some broccoli. Ginger. The ginger is a little more hearty than the broccoli than the uh, garlic, so we can go ahead and add the ginger. That's gonna give it that spice. Stir it up a little bit. It's looking good. We'll probably let that go for two or three minutes until the broccoli gets a little bit more tender. I actually had like a half a cup of oil, but I was adding it gradually, which you can do. You can try to gauge how much oil that you need, but you definitely a half a cup. Okay, and so now finally, we'll go ahead and add the carrots. And the carrots are already cooked, we'll add the carrots, and then we're gonna go ahead and put in, in, in the garlic. We're calling the garlic. <laughs> okay, so let's squeeze that garlic in there. We love garlic. Oh, onion. Oh, onion. 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 You got a good whisk really quick. And then, we're going to put this all to one side. I'm gonna ask them to add the last little bit of oil. And we're gonna go ahead and put that egg inside of there. And 
and you let that get firm so we can wait about a second or so and see how the bottom just kind of comes together and then we're just going to stir it around and the grain that we're going to be using today I was going to use quinoa but I already had barley in the refrigerator so I'm just going to use barley today if you have rice preferably brown rice you can use brown rice you can use barley you can use quinoa um, the possibilities are endless, but today we're going to be using barley. And if you have questions about how I made the barley, I can let you know. It's one part barley to three parts water. So I put one cup of barley to three cups of water and just kind of let that go. So we're going to let the egg go kind of soft there. It's ready. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our chicken. So let's take a handful of this chicken. Get in there. So... rice, barley, quinoa that has already been refrigerated. Something about the cold texture that makes it work a whole lot better. So I'm gonna add in the barley, and then I'm quickly gonna use some liquid aminos, which is an all-purpose seasoning. So we're gonna get my measuring spoons over there for those who need measuring spoons, and I'm gonna, I'll probably do about a tablespoon. Put it in there, quick stir. And it all comes together just like that. Because the rice is all, I mean, the barley is already done. We're not cooking it. So there you have barley fried rice. Barley chicken fried rice. Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? And again, you can adjust the seasonings as needed. If you want to add salt and pepper, in general, I don't add salt when I'm using the liquid aminos because they bring their own salt. Number two. So we've got chicken barley fried rice. We're gonna scoop that up. Ooh, yummy. Mmm, smells good. Lovely, very healthy. So there we got two. We got a salad. We got the chicken barley fried rice. All right, and for the final meal that we're going to prep on today, we are going to do a chicken stir fry. So we have everything already cut, sliced and diced. So all we're gonna do is take some sesame oil. I have about a fourth of a cup of oil, which I'm gonna put in the skillet. Turn the fire on. We're gonna let that warm up a little bit. And then we're gonna add our onion, as well as our ginger. And then we're gonna put our peppers and carrots. We'll put the rest of that in there. Okay, so we're gonna add our onions and well as, well as well as our broccoli. Again, I don't like to stir fry the vegetables too long because I like for them to keep all the vitamins and nutrients. I don't like for them to be real, you know, get really soft and lose their crunch. So we're gonna put those vegetables inside and we're going to stir that around. I'm gonna add the ginger. Remember, we always add the garlic last because we don't want it to burn. So we're gonna stir fry those vegetables. That's why it's very nice to, when you have your vegetables, if you go ahead and cut them up when you get them, it just makes it so much easier for meal prep later on. And these are three meals that you can rotate throughout the week. I don't know about you, but I can get three meals in a week. My family can eat three meals in a week if they eat the same meal twice. Whole week's up. Okay, so we're gonna add the ginger. Garlic. garlic. My bad, we're adding the garlic. There we go. All of that garlic out of there. It's something about pressing it versus just chopping it. Because if you just mince it, you do not get all the flavor. But when you put it through that press, I don't know, it's just something about it that's just where magic happens. And then we'll go ahead and add those carrots because remember, they're already cooked. So add that, quickly stir fry through that. And then we can add, I'm not using soy sauce. 
I'm using a, um, a vegan or vegetarian all-purpose seasoning, liquid amino, but if you have soy sauce, you could possibly use a tablespoon of soy sauce. I use less, because remember I'm trying try not to use a lot of sodium. And the flavor will come from the ginger and the garlic and everything else. So we stir fry that up like so. And then we take our chicken. Put that in. Oh, lovely. Look, I might put a little bit more on purpose seasoning. Stir that around. It looks delicious. Awesome. Turn the stove off and then I will top that off with some green onions. And with the other bowl, I'll put some green onions in the barley chicken stir fry also. So then we scoop that up. And you have a chicken stir fry. Three variations on the same rotisserie chicken. And guess what? Got a bonus for you. We actually have some chicken left over because remember, you want to use more vegetables than you do even the protein. You want to fill half of your plate up with the vegetables and just, you know, collect with the protein. So we got three meals. We got chicken salad, we got barley chicken stir fry rice, and we've got a chicken stir fry. And for the stir fry, even though I don't have a protein here, you can use either quinoa, you can use barley, you can use brown rice, you can use couscous, you can use whatever um, starch you want, or if not, you can just put it on lettuce. And the bonus that I was telling you about is, we have chicken left over. And so what I would do with this chicken, there's so many variations. We can take these and we can use romaine lettuce, and we can make lettuce wraps with avocado. That sounds delicious. So you can use the chicken for that or you can throw it in an omelet for breakfast the next morning. The possibilities are in have it. Three meals, four, <laughs> that you can get out of a rotisserie chicken and there's endless more that I could have came up with. If you liked what you saw on today, hit the like button, subscribe, and if you have any comments or anything that you would like to see broadcast any content, just let us know. Also go to our website, www.eatcleanfornewyou, where you can find many more recipes like this and others.